Okay, this is Adam Humphreys, and if you recall from my last video, I was talking about using the Teensy, or I wasn't talking, it was in the description. So I was trying out my Teensy and trying to develop a solar tracker here. So I have a, a working prototype here. I think I've pretty much got the program done, but uh, it works fairly simple. So there's going to be a card here, and if the light's shining here, that means this is this is going to be in shadow, and it's going to move right. So move right, and it works either way. If this is in shadow, you move left. So move right, but say we're moving right has to stop sometime it can't go on indefinitely I mean it'll probably stop with the Sun but and we still have to have a, play, a default position for it to go back to after dark but right now it's going right it's going toward the Sun as it's setting now it stops we press this little button here is the halt switch so it stops eventually now it doesn't stop on this halt switch because this is the left halt switch so let's say it is turning left though it's going back it's turning left and eventually it halts and you notice it took a while for it to halt there this switch is very sorry but this other other switch over here is pretty good this switch is kinda bad and so how it works is every 15 minutes it'll update or right now it's every two seconds cuz it's in testing I don't want to wait every 15 minutes to try it out but You'll have a total of seven seconds for it to track its lo or no, a total of five seconds for it to track its location. And so it'll 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 adjust it. It'll go back and forth. Then it'll it'll wait a second. If it thinks it's in the middle. Then okay, okay, I'm in the middle. Let's stop. Let's wait for a second. All right, I'm still in the middle, and it'll do that five times. And if it changes. And I'll be like, okay, let's just change it back. Let's, something changed, so let's move back to the position here. And <clears throat> it'll wait. It'll wait. It'll wait another second until five seconds have accumulated, regardless, regardless of however, however many times it has moved since then. So you'll notice that these are not connected directly to the chip. They they go through a resistor network. Uh, the reason why is because I plan on putting this on the at tiny 85 so five full IOs there and three analog inputs so I'm gonna utilize that so this the halt switches and the sensors just photoresistors real simple move left move right move left move right now these LEDs won't actually be on here but the LEDs represent that okay we're going this direction or we're going the other direction they will be connected to what's called an H bridge and all that means is either it's just a set of switches either relays or or transistors or or FETs whatever you want uh, to control a motor it'll change the polarity if it goes in one direction or if it goes in the other direction it'll turn those switches on so in the case of relays, it'll turn a relay on for moving the motor left, or a relay on for moving the motor right. Uh, I think I'm going to go with um, with trans, or I think I'm going to go with FETs for my H bridge though. But you can do it however simple or complicated you want, and you can have more than one of these. Uh, you can have one for going up and down. So if you have something you want it to tilt back and forth you can do that it'll follow the sun first starting out I think I'm just gonna have it rotate the panels left and right so we'll see what happens but uh, let's let's take a look at the program for debugging purposes I have it actually tell me exactly what's going on um, on the screen so let's take a look at that right quick okay so right now we have this little console telling us exactly what's going on with this solar tracker here so I'm going to stick my finger in front of one of the sensors so it can move right it's moving right it's because there's a difference between the sensors and I've made that difference to be greater than or around 
five, I think five, five or six um, points. So okay, we're moving right, moving right. Okay, now we're moving left. Okay, let's leave it alone. Oh, we're we're moving left again. Oh, leave it alone. We're, we're moving left. And see that centered is like the one second it waits. So after like I think like five seconds, it's like okay, we're done. So position updated, and it won't do that again until 15 minutes later. Of course, in this case, two seconds because I don't want to wait that long to test it. Position updated, 15 minutes, then it starts again. Notice that darkness duration. <coughs> That's uh, reset to zero every time the position is updated, even though it waits a little bit after that. It will stop tracking after six hours of darkness in this case right now so if I cover it up with my hand it'll wait six seconds so it's dark outside it's waiting I have it divided by two it's not quite accurate okay moving back to default left position so we have our LED on Let's see if I can stick this in front of there the LEDs on I'm gonna halt this so all right, move left halted. Oh, it's sunlight again. I took my hand off of it. But you get the idea. You see what it's done there. Sleeping, wake up. It waked up immediately because my hand was... Okay, okay. So, sleeping. Okay, my hand is still over it. It's dark outside. Okay, eventually it's going to dawn. When it does, it's going to wake up. All right, we're moving. Oh, we're done. So, that's pretty much it. The program... I think the program is done. Of course, I'm sure the physical aspect will be a bit more challenging <laughs> if I get to it. Hopefully, hopefully something will be done. If not, I'm going to make this program freely available for anyone to pick up, and it it's going to work with the Arduino. And I'm going to um, you you can put it on whatever you want if you want to put it on the Teensy or the at tiny 85 or some other some other at male microcontroller it's all gonna be made available <clears throat> so there might be some differences in the sensors if you wanna add extra resistors to fine-tune that then you know that's one of the things you can do to help improve performance uh, probably be it'll probably be pretty negligible I uh, have some 1% uh, I would put fairly accurate resistors on the sensors even though the sensors themselves may not be very accurate but <clears throat> instead of using my one percent resistors I I found two five percent tolerance resistors that were closely matched like they're like uh, I use 10k resistors actually I use 10k resistors everywhere I tried to make it real simple so there are five 10k resistors the two switches uh, the photo sisters, or the just the photo sensors, and the capacitor for power storage. I mean, a lot of these things may not mean a lot to you, but you know that doesn't really matter. If you can um, take a look at it, and you, you can probably just buy the parts and stick one together. I mean, <coughs> it's not too difficult. It's so so far it's coming along really well. I just need to get an at tiny 85 and see if it works I mean I'm able to compile it so hopefully that'll work and I'm using the elapsed mills that comes with the at tiny which is just a timing and that's what that darkness duration uses so after so much time I'm not using delay I'm using elapsed time and that's not available available by default on the at tiny 85 so but luckily I was able to just use their library and that you can I can distribute that freely based on what's in the the comment section up there in their code so I'm gonna distribute that with it and it seems to compile so I'm gonna try that out eventually when I get the at tiny 85 so um, I guess that's about it for now alright thank you for watching